What's going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Soldiers and today we're back again for another video. And um As you see, we're in Roblox Studio again. And I'll be honest <coughs> excuse me. I'll be honest, I didn't expect to be in the studio again. And do I like being in the studio? Not really. But you guys like you guys like the developer the developer vids a lot and can't stress to you enough how much how important it is to hit that likes button and subscribe to the channel you know press that big red button or gray button whatever it is for you and subscribe to the channel because i'd really appreciate it <clears throat> anyways um let's get right into it uh today i'm gonna be telling you how to make your guis better yeah your guis is gonna look better um it's gonna go from very bad to very very good <clears throat> all right enough of choking on whatever is suffocating me right now um all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to explore and if you don't know how to open explore by now i'm very disappointed i'm really not but all right so come up to your taskbar click view and make sure the explore way over here on the left is highlighted and it'll be somewhere on your screen you go to it, scroll through it, look for start a GY, click the plus, the plus, the plus button beside it, and uh, insert a screen GY. All right, so most of the time, you know, uh, you know, they'll tell you, you know, whatever it is, we'll just go with, we'll just go game GI, you know, we'll do whatever, and uh, we're gonna click plus button beside it, we're gonna insert a frame. You know, you could have this cool, you know, this cool little square. In middle of your frame and you know we'll you know we could just you know we'll we'll make it pretty big and you know most games will make it blue or gray because you know I'll, I'll be honest you know gray gray does look very very good <laughs> gray does look does look very very good and um uh, we'll just put it in the center of our screen here all right so you know we got this boring square and you know we'll just add this uh this very boring text label put it in here and then we'll scroll down a little bit in our properties and we'll go into our text and we'll put game gui all right and then you know we'll we'll text scale it you know we get something like this all right and I can't stress you enough how horrible this looks, especially to someone that's not even really a developer. I just do it every once in a while because I like to have fun in the studio. You know, I like to play around in Roblox Studio because it's fun. And um, I highly recommend that you would get to the point where your GUIs don't look like this. And I'm gonna tell you one plugin that changes your entire GUI game. <clears throat> to even the point where you don't have to pay someone thousands of robux or uh hundreds hundreds of dollars to you know customize and make custom guis that probably don't even make sense all right so we're gonna go to plugins well actually you know what let's make this easier all right so you're gonna come up to your taskbar you're gonna click view and then you're gonna open your toolbox all right once you got your toolbox open you're gonna make sure you have the marketplace tab selected you can click this little drop down here you can go all the way down to plugins all right <clears throat> all right and then you're gonna go into your search bar you're just gonna type in round all right type in round and that's not the one we want all right here it is all right so type in roundify in your thing and it will be by stellarex steelrex stellarex yeah whatever this name is and uh you just want to make sure that you uh install it all right, and you might have to re restart your Roblox Studio. So uh, go ahead and do that if you need to. But uh, make sure to take your plugins first to see if it's there. And here we have Stellarex's plugin, Roundify. All right, and we are going to solve all the world's problems with just a Roundify button. All right, so <clears throat> basically we're going to get rid of this text label because it looks horrible. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Roundify. And you're gonna select your frame. Alright, so select your frame, click roundify. 
Why is this not working? Oh, my bad. I had my, my roundify was on my other screen. All right, so when you click roundify, this little window of roundify will pop up. All right, in order for this to work, you want to select the frame or text label or whatever you have, and you're just going to select the size. I recommend 12 because it just 12 looks really good, and I don't think it goes any higher than 12. Yeah, okay, so yeah, let's max that out at 12. Uh, have your flame selected, and then just click roundify. All right, check this out. Cuts off the corners. Looks beautiful. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have that weird outline. Which if you just want to get rid of that, just go to your border color. Go to border size. Change it to zero, and it's gone. But um, other than that, so we have this frame, and your frame is now an image label, which is. I don't wait. Is it an image label? I'm gonna have to check this out. Pretty sure it's just image label. Yeah. All right. So your frame's now an image label, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this just a little bit bigger so I can show you. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna go Control D. All right, and basically what that does is it makes two of them. It duplicates them. And we're gonna take one of them and put it in the other. All right, and once you do that, you're gonna drag the spare one over, and then you're gonna come down to the bottom and drag it up just a little bit. All right, and then you're gonna select your uh, your parent frame. Uh, we'll just name this one, uh, we'll name the, we'll name this one back, and then we'll name the one inside of it, <coughs> excuse me, um, we'll name the inside of it our face, alright, so you want to go to your back, and you're going to come down to, you're going to scroll all the way down to image, alright, and you're going to have image color, alright, and what you want to do is you just want to drop this a few shades from the front one. And look at that. It makes it look like it pops out. And I I love doing this. It's really, really cool. And that way you have this little pop, cool pop out down here. And it, it, it really does look cool. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to click your face. And you're going to insert a text label, text button, whatever you need to insert. And I'll show you how to do this as well. All right. So... Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll make this a little bit easier. Um, we'll just do a frame instead. All right, so we're going to take a frame, going to center it up in the middle of this. All right, we'll make it, we'll make it pretty decently sized. Now, there's two ways that I like to do this. Um, you can make this really big like this, and then you can thin it all the way down. And you can make this white line that goes through here. And then you can just cut off your, um, if you go in here into your border border size, you can go zero. And then you'll just have this white line that goes through here. Or you can make it look cool. And um, we're gonna make this a little bit smaller. Size doesn't really matter too, too much here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna roundify this, all right? And we're going to name this one title holder, I guess. It's really whatever it needs to be named. All right. Um, all right. So we have this now. And we're going to make it the same color as our background. So we're going to come down here and make it easier. You're going to select this. You're just going to... Oh, jeez. All right, so you're going to do Control-C, which just copies this. And then you're going to go down here to where it's color on the title holder. And you're going to make it the same color as that. All right, and uh, this way, it's matching this, and it looks like we have this cool dope thing that isn't really cool and dope, but we like it, so we'll go with it. All right, and then inside your title holder, you're just going to put a text label, and then you're going to kind of scale it to this. Now I know you're wondering, it's like, oh, this white thing's in the way. We can fix that, right? Make sure you have your, make sure you have your uh, text label uh, selected, and then you we have one that's called background transparency here. All right, you just want to change your background transparency to a one. All right, and it'll make all that nasty stuff background go away. And then from there, you're gonna scroll down, and you're gonna go to text. Um, I I suggest just clicking text scaled. Uh, pick whatever color you want. 
we'll just go with white because white pairs really well with gray and um we'll just choose oswald for font is because it it looks pretty decent at least for this um i also like going with uh gotham bold gotham bold's really good for your game's uis as well uh we'll just go with that and then we'll just name this game gui all right cool fits perfectly looks real nice and then um you know you can you can just go from here uh you know we'll add like this cool frame um typically if you're doing a button let's let's make one let's make like a little strength doohickey here um we're not going to script this or anything so hopefully people don't think that <laughs> um so we're just going to roundify this and we will make it the same color as our background as well um we'll have like our we'll just name this stat holder for now and uh if you're thinking at this point is this going to be a series where you're going to show us how to script a stat gui i i really hate to break it to you but you're very far in the in the video to be realizing by now that this is not by any means a stat holder video so i hope that at some point you realize that <laughs> um so yeah we'll just we'll just do this and then we'll put a text label in here you know and then we'll go with something cool we'll delete the background make that one and then we'll go with the same thing gotham bold We'll make this a uh, cool persimmon color about right there and then we'll text scale it and then we'll change our text to uh, what we got strength let's do it we'll do strength all right that looks pretty bop to me and then um what we got here we'll do We'll do like a plus and a minus. I don't know how small this is going to get. Yeah, man. 50 by 50. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. All right. Um. Uh, yeah. So let's just like. Let's just roundify this. And. um, We will put a text label in here get rid of this bs we'll do background transparency is zero um and then we'll copy the color from this again go back to this we'll change the color go to text label change the gotham bold and text scale it make it white change our thing to one you know and from here yeah you can add kind of whatever we'll do a text label yeah, we'll we'll do a 50 here and we'll just kind of drop these in real quickly we'll put our put our minus in here and then we'll get rid of that background you know these don't have to be text labels by the way um i'm just using it for like an example i'm using these for like an example of what you can do and we'll make this a plus all right so look, look at that all right very basic very easy and I did this all with a singular plugin. I didn't go into some fancy Photoshop or Photopea and make it. I literally just took one plugin and cut off all the corners. And it looks beautiful. I can't stress you enough how cutting off corners makes a Roblox game look crispy. All right, it makes it look real crispy. So yeah, once again, go to plugins, check out uh, uh, Stellrex's uh, Roundify. Very, very good. 
And uh, if you have any questions about any other plugins, leave it down in the comments below. And um, if you guys have any other questions about about GYs or something to do with like art, maybe not scripting. Uh, I no longer script, and I no longer create stuff in Blender usually. So I hate to break it to you. I I sadly don't do that stuff anymore. But um, yeah, definitely. Definitely shoot shoot down in the comments, you know, give me suggestions on if I should play any video games on Roblox. Uh, ask me any questions about Studio. I'll try to answer them. And uh, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.